Dear friends, welcome to our channel. Today, I want to discuss a very common phenomenon hemangiomas of the spine. Many people who have these hemangiomas, whether it be one, two, or even several, often feel confused by this diagnosis. There is a lot of misinformation and fear surrounding this condition, especially when you read scary stories on the internet. People worry that it is a tumor that can turn into cancer or cause paralysis, heart or stomach malfunctions, or even affect the intestines. Unfortunately, there are doctors who may unnecessarily recommend surgery based on a patient's CT scan. However, I want to clarify that hemangiomas are actually harmless vascular masses, similar to moles. Just as we have moles on our skin, we can also have moles in the vertebral body, known as hemangiomas. They are most commonly found in the thoracic spine and sometimes in the cervical or lumbar vertebrae. On a CT scan, they appear as rounded, light-colored spots. It's important to note that if we were to perform CT and magnetic resonance imaging on the spines of random individuals, we would find that the majority of people, especially those over 40, have at least one hemangioma. Therefore, it is normal to have these benign growths on the spine, and they typically do not cause any painful sensations or symptoms. They do not develop into cancerous tumors and usually do not grow at all. So, why is there so much hysteria surrounding hemangiomas? It's not that more people have them now, it's just that diagnostic methods have improved. In the past, detecting hemangiomas was challenging unless they were large enough to be seen on conventional x-rays. With the advent of CT scans, more hemangiomas were discovered, leading to heightened awareness and unnecessary concerns. Now, you might be wondering what to do if you have a hemangioma that poses no danger. The answer is simple, there is nothing to be done. Hemangiomas should be observed but do not require treatment. They can be a benign presence in your life, much like many people who lived with them quietly and unknowingly until CT scanners brought them to light. If the hemangioma is small and not growing in size, we simply observe it through periodic CT scans or MRI. Usually, we monitor it for about a year, and if there is no increase in size, we continue to observe without intervention. Concern arises in rare cases when the hemangioma rapidly increases in size or occupies more than half of the vertebral body. In such cases, a simple cementing operation may be necessary to address the structural damage and prevent compression fractures. The surgical procedure, known as vertebroplasty, involves injecting a special bone cement mixture into the cavity where the hemangioma is located. This strengthens the vertebra, eliminates fractures, and has been a revolutionary technique for treating severe compression fractures. The operation is typically straightforward and performed under local anesthesia. After the procedure, patients often experience a reduction in bone pain within hours or days. It is important to note that such operations are relatively rare, occurring in only about 1-5% to of cases, and complications are uncommon. The use of vertebroplasty however, should be reserved for cases that truly require intervention. Unfortunately, some neurosurgeons may perform unnecessary procedures for financial gain, even on small hemangiomas that do not require treatment. But now that we have a better understanding, we know that most hemangiomas are of no significant concern. We cement the larger ones when necessary, while observing and not touching the smaller ones. Dear friends, there is no reason to panic about hemangiomas in most cases. Remember, our goal is to stay informed and make the best decisions for our health. Thank you for joining us today, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Stay healthy!